Within the last few minutes, the IRA have declared there will be an unequivocal restoration of the ceasefire they called in 1994. It will start at noon tomorrow. The statement issued to RTE in Dublin comes after a call late yesterday afternoon from the Sinn Féin President Jerry Adams for a new ceasefire. Well, I'm joined now from Belfast by our correspondent Clarence Mitchell. Clarence, details are still coming in. What more can you tell us? Indeed they are, Maura. Yes, it was just around 20 past nine uh, when a fax, I have a copy of it here, uh, was sent to the Dublin newsroom of RTE, the Irish state broadcaster, in which the IRA, um, signing themselves P. O'Neill, as they normally do in this sort of communication, um, made it clear that they are restoring, in their words, unequivocally, uh, the ceasefire of August 1994. They say that all IRA units have been instructed accordingly um, and that this, this complete cessation of military military operations, as they put it, is to take effect from noon tomorrow, Sunday the 20th of July. Now, interestingly enough, the word permanent, uh, which many unionists, of course, were looking for uh, in this statement, uh, is not in there in relation to the actual ceasefire. The word permanent does appear in one sentence, and the IRA say, we want a permanent peace, and therefore we are prepared to enhance the search for a democratic peace settlement through real and inclusive negotiations. But the word permanent is not there in relation to the actual ceasefire itself. Clarence, early days yet, but what does Sinn Féin hope to achieve? Well, in the first instance, Sinn Féin are clearly hoping to achieve a place at the talks table of the multi-party talks. Uh, the British government has made it clear that uh, if this ceasefire is unequivocal uh, and is to be taken seriously within six weeks, uh, they could well be at the table. And it's been seen that um, if that is the case, Sinn Féin delegates may well sit down for the talks in the multi-party talks on September the 15th. Um, the unionists, however, are, are deeply sceptical about the motives behind this ceasefire. They, uh, some of them, have already accused used it of being uh, simply a tactical move, a cynical move, designed purely to get Sinn Féin's involvement in the talks, and that the IRA do not mean it in the long run. They simply point back to 1994 and, of course, the Docklands bomb, which broke the last ceasefire. Um, but the IRA say that they believe this is their contribution to the search for a lasting peace, as was their original ceasefire, and they've made it clear in their view, this is an unequivocal restoration of the ceasefire uh, and that they have instructed all their units accordingly. Clarence, thank you. We'll be bringing you more details in our next scheduled news at one o'clock. Ah, now on BBC One, it's back to Children's BBC with Kirsten.